Hi there, I'm Carl Hoffman of Software AG, and today I'm going to spend a few minutes with you showing you how easy it is to take database data and push it out into a cloud-based application. So, in a nutshell, what does Event Replicator for Adabase do? Well, it listens for events to occur in Adabase. Those events can be add, update, or delete transactions against one or more files in the database. At the time a transaction is committed to the database, Event Replicator will be notified that there is a transaction to be replicated. Then, based on the file subscription definitions made, the transaction can be replicated directly to a relational database, such as Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, DB2, or, in our case, to the Java Messaging Service. From there, the transaction will be picked up by our integration and transformation engine. In this demo, we will do some very basic data transformations and push the transaction to the cloud-based application, Salesforce.com. It is certainly possible to push transactions to other cloud-based NCRM applications or even to in-house written applications. Okay, well I'm logged on to my mainframe and so let's go ahead and let's add a customer record. And uh, in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and add uh, James Bond as my customer. And so I'll do that. And you'll notice that a customer number 2505 has been added successfully to my mainframe application. So we've added that record. Now let's jump over into Salesforce and let's go ahead and let's search on all accounts. And here we have James Bond. And as we go and look at the data for James Bond, a couple of things we did as we were replicating the data is we took the account name and concatenated the first, last, and middle names together and put in the little comma into the account name field. The second thing we did was I took the customer ID number that was in my mainframe application and I put it into the account number field in Salesforce. And lastly, I set the active flag to yes. So that way, while I'm in Salesforce, I know that this is an active customer within my mainframe-based application. So what we're going to do now is let's go out there and let's go ahead and just delete uh, James Bond. Uh, we, he's no longer a customer of ours, uh, so let's just get him deleted. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and purge it and uh, confirm it. So the customer 2505 has been purged successfully. So let's jump back over to salesforce.com and I'll go ahead and refresh the screen here and what we will find out is that rather than deleting the account I just set the active flag to no. That way I know and can maintain that history inside of salesforce.com of this account even though it is no longer in my mainframe based application. Now that you have seen replication in action I'd like to show you two of the steps from the integration and transformation engine. The first screenshot shows how I concatenated the last name, a comma, first name and middle name into the account name field. The second screenshot shows how I map the data elements from Adabase along with the newly concatenated field to the elements that make up my account object in Salesforce.com. Thank you for tuning in. If you would like more information, you can visit SoftwareAG.com or send me an email and I'll gladly answer any questions you might have. Thanks again and have a great day.